I mean, that pollen is already all over my car. Thankfully, yeah. we've had showers helping to clean it off. But yeah, we got to rain on Sunday to help out with that, right? <laughs> Get that yellow off the car. But 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 we'd said that today's the first day of spring, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Like first hour. <laughs> Not so much, right? Not so like much because spring. it happens at 10:06 tonight. Okay. So right, I'd like to say the first day of spring or first full day of spring is going to happen tomorrow. tomorrow. A couple of hours right. of winter. Yeah, you've talked about that all day. So today is just like two hours of spring. Two hours of spring, maybe or less. We'll look at it there. So getting really, really nerdy now for you. Go ahead and take a look at the graphic for you. At 10:06 here, we've gone to daylight time. That's where spring begins tonight. First full day of spring will come tomorrow. I don't know. It's just saying how it's going to go and we'll be done with it. But spring is here no matter how you look at it. Meteorologically, we did it at the beginning of the month. Do you know that? We make it easy. It just started at the beginning of the month. Real time temperature around 60. We're still to some 50s from Galliano, Grand Isle to Buras and Slidell's at 59 degrees right now. But let's get right to our forecast. This is what you want to know more about. And what's going to happen to the cool temperatures? Are we going to have another cold night tonight? I don't think so. High pressure is right on us though, but there's the approach of our next system few clouds in between, but that's not much. I'm not expecting rain out of that. So here's a look at our cloud forecast from right now and tonight. A few more thicker clouds would start to arrive towards tomorrow. So with the clear skies, you would think it's another cold night. The thing is, there's a big, big bubble of warmth just to our west. And as that moves in, temperatures upper 30s north shore. It's not quite as cold, but you could be frosty. We're going to go 40s to some 50s here in the south shore. Clouds will start to increase a little bit. We clearly see it on the satellite imagery west. So we're going to go mostly cloudy tomorrow, but still enough sun in between the clouds and we get that bubble of warmth starting to move closer. We get a high temperature nearing 70 tomorrow. That's much closer to a typical high of 73 for the time of the year. So let's go from Wednesday evening going into Thursday now. And we see as we begin off with a little bit more sunshine, a wave of that thick cloud cover starts to go away. But even thicker clouds start to build here on Thursday because the next chance of rain comes into Thursday evening, and this could be just shower activity. The heaviest storms are going to be well south into the Gulf, where the main part of the system is going to develop. But we could get a couple waves of the rain here. So there's the look of the wave moving through. Even with the rain coming in in thicker clouds, we could still do a high around 71 in the Thursday. Again, preceding that system is a bubble of warmth that's there. That's pretty typical. Now let's see overnight Thursday into Friday. Some indications that there could be some scattered showers and storms lingering here, depending on the placement and storms, how they develop. But this forecast is consistent with the second wave coming through on Friday. So we've increased the rain chances going in overnight Thursday through Friday. We can still see that first round of at least light showers Thursday afternoon. Hey, not to forget tomorrow's fine. Top temperature to about 72 on Friday, even with the rain. But here's a good view of the main part of that storm system that's south into the Gulf. But there's this second system that's developing here, which keeps that chance of overnight rain around Thursday going into Friday and through the day, possibly here on Friday. And it could be kind of a cloudy and rainy day on Friday, but we get it done in the right time that that leaves the weekend just free and clear. So it's a mild day Saturday. It's a little chilly in the morning hours Sunday, but another mild one coming on Sunday. I got high temperatures for you, lower to mid 70s. But we get into next week, and this is the next strong storm system to come our way. You can see this cold front starts to arrive, but our chance of stronger storms is all about this area of low pressure here. The farther south it gets to us could mean those are the heavier storms. Right now, I see most of these north of us, and we could still find some stronger storms a little bit south of that. And the timing of this is Monday, Monday night going into Tuesday, but a lot of this will depend on the placement of that system as it moves through. If we get the right ingredients, we're going to be warm and with enough spin in the atmosphere and energy, it could be looking at some more severe weather. It's long ways away. We'll keep you in touch. WDSU first warning weather seven day forecast. A few clouds tomorrow. We're warmer. First full day of spring coming too. And then we've got the shower potential Thursday. More storms Friday, but a beautiful weekend.